Hello everyone. From this lecture, we will learn how to convert the given Moore machine to the Mealy machine. So you know it uh, from the previous lectures that uh, the Moore machine or the Moore machine are those machines in which the output is associated with the states, and the Mealy machines are those machines in which the output is associated with the transitions. So let's take a very simple example and try to convert this Moore machine. Uh, to the mealy machine. Okay. So let's say this is the state A where output is zero, and uh, there is a state B in which the output is one. Let's say that with the input alphabet A, I remain at A. With B, I move to B. With A in the B, I move to A, and with B, I remain at state b so this is the uh, mood machine given and we have to convert this mood machine to the mealy machine so as the mealy machine will be the one in which the output will be associated with the transitions so we will mark the transitions with each of the state so let's define the two states which are given in the mood machine and in this you can see that this a transition will first refer to this a transition in this a transition you can see that uh, it is landing up in the state A. Hence, the output of this transition will be the uh, output associated with the state. So, A oblique 0, it means the A is the input and 0 is the output. Similarly, if I refer to this one, in which I am transiting from A to B. So, B is the input symbol which is taken. So, the output symbol associated with this transition will be the state where this transition is ending. Uh, this transition is ending. So this is ending at B. So the output associated with B will be the output associated with this transition. And then if I refer to this one, in that case, you can see that this remains at itself. So whatever is the output associated with this state, that is one, will be the output associated with this transition. Now I'm looking at now this one, this transition. So this is moving from B to A. So since this transition is ending at the state number A, so whatever is the output associated with the state will be the output associated with the transition also. So this is the mealy machine. And as you know that uh, for the mealy machine, not only the diagram is important, but this transition table, which will actually define lambda and the delta will also be important. Lambda and del, that will be important. So uh, the states here are A and B, out of which A is the start state. The input alphabets are A and B and the output alphabets are 0 and 1. So as you see that uh, with A, you remain at A, and with B, you go to B. On B, with the symbol small a, you go to A, and on small b, you remain at B state. So now you can see that the output associated with the uh, with this transition, it means that if I take A at a state A, is 0, so this will be written as A, comma 0. I once again explain how is it happening. happening. You can see that uh, when you are at the state A and you are taking the input alphabet small a. So you remain at A, that's why I've written A here, and the output produced is zero, that's why the second part is written as zero. Similarly, uh, when I'm transiting with the input symbol small b, the output associated is one, hence I will write one here. I can explain this one also. After this, I think every, everything should be clear to you. So I am at the state A with small b input. You are moving to state B. So that's why the b is written here. And what is the what is the output value associated at this transition? That is one. Hence, I have written one here. Now, after this, uh, b by taking a small a symbol moves to a state, and the output associated with this transition is zero. Similarly, if I start with b and uh, uh, remain uh, if I start with B and uh, with the small b symbol, you remain at state B, and the output associated with this transition is one. So this is the uh, th this is actually representing the transition. It means del, and it is also representing what is the output produced by the different transition. It means I am defining the lambda also. So uh, I think that you should need to remember one thing more in the lambda. In the lambda, what we have said that if you take the input symbol and you take its cross product with the state, it should tell us what is the symbol associated with this, what is the symbol associated with this output or with this transition. So 
sigma cross q should map to one of the state, one, one of the values in the output alphabet set. So that's why we have defined this table also. So please remember that when you are doing this question for your university examination, you not only have to draw this diagram for the conversion, but you have to draw this transition table also that will help you to score good in the examination. So thanks for watching this video. We will meet again with the new example for the conversion of the Moore machine to the Mealy machine.